Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, Robert. Congratulations on your 500 sub. I'm sorry, I'm just now getting uh, around to making a Grail video. And um, first and foremost, cheers. Lovely Anchor Steam beer out of San Francisco. Well, that's kind of. I've actually been a VC member for a year, and it's the first time I've actually toasted booze in a video. I was going to show one grail, <laughs> and uh, there's actually a record that I've been looking for, no kidding, since I was like 14. And I finally, I, I looked and I looked and I looked on and off for that amount of time, trying to you know walk into either go to a show or sale, you know, looking through. Uh, shops. I found it on eBay on multiple occasions, but you know, there's a sick part of your collectorism to where it's part of the hunt to actually go and find it. And boy, have I, did I look and I looked and I looked. And I finally, you know, I said, you know what, the heck with it. I'm going to eBay. And I did, and I'm happy I did because now I own it. Which is, oh, no, oh, there we go. Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny on 45. Now, Number one, you're probably thinking, what is a 30, you know, at the time, what did a 15-year-old want with that? Um, number two, why is a 45-year grail? Uh, number three, it's really not that rare. You know, so why is that your grail? Well, you would think it's not that rare, because it was a number one hit of 1960. So I thought, oh, you'd be able to get it anywhere. The reason that I wanted it on 45 is because that's the way that kids would have bought it when it came out in 1960. And to me, that was very cool. Uh, we, I grew up um, having listening to my dad's 45. So to me, 45s were, you know, you got, you know, you had to listen to the song that you wanted. That, that's the way that kids went and you know bought their music. And I just thought it was really cool. And I could have showed a lot of other stuff, but to me, that is. Probably the reason I really started, uh, like, really seeking out stuff and continued. And honestly, it was, it was funny because when I, when I finally got a copy of it, and this one is a really good copy, too. Excuse me. When I finally got a copy of it, I was like, am I done? Is that it? Am I done, you know, searching for vinyl? Oh, hell no. By that time, the bug had already bit me, you know, on both arms, both legs, and twice in the butt. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not getting rid of this hobby slash habit anytime soon but I'm very happy to have it sadly I probably don't play it as much as I should but I'll probably play it tonight you know it's already out I don't gotta dig it up and that is my that's my grail right now and I've got some other stuff that you know it'd be kind of cool to have or anything like that but that was the one that I really looked for for a long time it wasn't an expensive record I think with shipping I paid 10 bucks for it yeah, 10 bucks for 45. Um, it's really not that rare. It sold several million copies in 1960. And this actually is an original on Canadian American. If I would have found a repress, it, it would have been okay. But that was one of the one things I really wanted an original of. And I got it. I got my grail. And yeah, I still continue to search and buy records because that's what we all do. You're never going to shake it. But. You see my grail, Robert, congratulations on your 500 subs. I'm sorry I've not been as active as I should have been, but with the holiday rush and working retail, I, you know, I mean, I, if you paid attention, I've made, I think, three videos, but I've done them all after January 1. So my life is slowing down. And I'm finally getting around to trying to shoot some videos of, of some other stuff I made. So maybe you'll get to, able to see my smiling face and uh, maybe I'll actually get off my butt and show some more stuff that I've been looking for and finally got and I'm really proud of. Have a great day, good luck on your contest, and good luck to all the other entrants.